How's it going, Pokey fans? It's your boy, Guzma. No, I'm not Guzma. But anyways, uh, in the last video, I talked about armored Pokemon and what I thought about that whole theory and whatnot. Now let's talk about another theory that I believe will be the gimmick in the next Pokemon game. Instead of jumping into the conclusion about armored Pokemon, let's actually take a closer look at what the design entails as far as symbolism is concerned. As the trainer in uniform walks into the soccer-like stadium, what's with the new symbol or logo that's on his arm? What does it mean? Most importantly, what are those three swirly doodads circling around the Pokeball? Upon researching the swirly doodads, this is what I found. When we take one of these swirly doodads, isolate them, it's basically what we would see as a Japanese comma. Now how does this affect battling? I have no idea. Maybe there's a pause. Maybe there's a little orange slice break because it's in a soccer field. Who knows? So we know what the symbol is. That's all fine and dandy. But why are there three of them? At first glance, it looks like something that the Pokemon franchise would just automatically do unconsciously without even thinking about it. They have three starters, they have three legendaries, you get the idea. When you get three Tomoe in a bunch, you get a little something that's extra special. What is that, you ask? You're exactly right. It's commonly known as a Mitsudomoe and it's commonly used for a lot of Japanese folklore, one being the symbol for the patron deity of warriors known as Hachiman. I feel as if this is more fitting because warriors can also be offensive and defensive. When used as a verb, a Mitsudomoe bears the sense of to hope, to expect, or to be anxious over. And since battling is the biggest verb you see in the Pokemon franchise, I'm led to believe that it's going to be more about the crowd and the stadium hype than anything else. And it makes absolute perfect sense of how Pokemon's been in the last few generations. Mega Evolutions being the connection between Trainer and Pokemon, Z Moves being the connection between Pokemon and nature, to then finally topping it off with having Pokemon be influenced by the crowd. I mean, we've seen this before. Where have we seen it before? I'll be talking about that in the next video. Don't forget to stay tuned, stay awesome, and stay in school. This game's not going to be out for like another eight months. Just focus on other stuff. It's okay. No matter what they're going to come out with, I'm still going to love it. You're still going to love it. We're all going to play it. That's just how it is. They have us. They have our nostalgia blindness. And that's that. At the end of the day, no matter what they come out with, it's gonna be great. And I'll see you later because I'm talking too much. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye-bye.